Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here. Welcome to our next episode. I just wanted to have a closer look at the Train Sim World 2 Bakerloo line images that we have. So we have six images so far. We don't know if we're going to get any more later this week. So I wanted to have a closer look at these six images. Some of them will look at more than others. So let's have a look at the first one. So we have two uh, 1972 stock at Queen's Park, I guess, uh, just by the look of the roof there. Um, not in service, possibly that train uh, just to the left is gonna go to the depot. Uh, maybe the one on the right has just come out of the depot and it's going onward uh, to its uh, destination. So I do like this uh, image here. Uh, you get some nice uh, look at the front of the train uh, on this uh, route. The trains look a little clean Mind you, you know, we've kind of always said that um, with forums and things like that. It is quite a clean train. It needs to be a little bit grubbier, but it is good. I do like the look of it. So looking at the next image, uh, I believe this is possibly the, uh, the same train uh, that we are looking at. Uh, just at a different angle and, you know, further or closer behind uh, to each other. Now, one thing I notice on the one on the right, why is the number on the left-hand side of it 2400 and then the right-hand side 0042? Could that be a Photoshop area error? Because I thought it would be uh, train number 0042, but if you notice 2400042 are kind of mirrored. So not sure why uh, the numbers are mirrored in that way, but it's good to take a closer look at the train. So we've got a nice front footage uh, bit of the picture, you see that it's a bit of grubby uh, around the door at the bottom, which is nice, but I still think it's not dirty enough. <laughs> um, we notice with the sticker, the Bakerloo line, which is a, above there, could do with uh, being a little bit lower. It's just a bit too much of a gap. Maybe it's just how we feel it when we watch the videos um, or see a real life Bakerloo line train. But all in all, that is a good, a good representation on that, and I am looking forward to seeing if this is a PC footage or if this is actually what it's going to look like on console on Xbox and PS4. So the next photo that we have, the next image, is driving the 1972 stock towards uh, the Baker Street platform. So we know that we have the ability to change the uh, the destination on the front. But there's no sign of any screen on, you know, the right hand side, just to the left of the phone where you can change any of that. Maybe, as we've said uh, before, maybe it's a bit of photoshopping that they've done and it's not fully active um, in that way. Maybe it's automatically done. I'm not sure. But that's a really nice station with Baker Street. I love the tiles. That's a really nice look. The, um, the holidays, you know, the advertising is really good. Nice to have that on there. Um, but yeah really good image there and the next one as we know is the baker street with sherlock holmes i feel sherlock holmes is a little too small for real life he could be a bit bigger but i think just because of the uh the benches there it's probably they've tried to fit him in instead of going around the back but good idea having the uh, sherlock holmes there and we know above we've got the map which is a little grubby we can see that embankment and lambeth north have had stickers on there um, but I've read on the forums that it was a couple of years ago that those stations were changed. So it's weird that there are grubbiness on there. I've not been on a Bakerloo line recently, so maybe that stickiness is still on there because the actual map has not been updated for quite a while. Not sure, but let me know. If you've got any images, send them to me via Twitter or Instagram, or just leave a comment below. Have you seen the Bakerloo line map recently? Does Embankment and Lambeth North, all that area, is it? sticky in that way the residue of the previous one on the top because that's what they do they have the map and then as there are changes maybe a station is not open at the weekends or maybe the circle line or district line is not connecting at that station they just stick over a bit just for that station which gives you that update but again a bit clean for my liking i like the effect of the map but that is kind of the only dirtiness of this image now, you never know, it could be that because of COVID, these trains are spotless, so maybe that's what they're trying to go for at the moment, but I would like a little bit more grubbiness. 
With the next image, we are arriving at Piccadilly Circus. Now, I love the Piccadilly Circus. Uh, been to that station many a time. Um, so I love the tiles, uh, love the train coming into the station. Now, as you know, um, I do have footage of the Piccadilly Circus Bay Clue line. So what we'll do is uh, let's have a look at that and then we'll have a look back at the picture. So yeah, let's watch that video now. So yeah, there we go. We can see the tiles. Um, I know my video footage isn't great in seeing the tiles um, because we are further into the station, but I love that the green and brown or the reddy brown are on there with the Piccadilly Circus and the adverts. You can see from the video that I made uh, that I took was a few years ago because of an older uh, iPhone, but still the same station, still the same look, still the same train. Uh, you can see again on that train, it's got a lot of grubbiness on the sides. Uh, part the way down, if you notice on the Underground logo, it was all black and dusty and dirty. That's what they need. They need some good grubbiness on there. I know we keep mentioning it, but we need it to be realistic. But yeah, great station that we've got there. Again, we get to see Elephant and Castle, 3257, and to see the left and the right image, uh, of the train the numbers are the same they're not mirrored and as you as we said in the previous videos and I think we've all said it we really want to see this London the musical still the best in the West End and then the final image the final image is the London Road Depot now I like that the London Road Depot now what's cool about that is you got the shard in the background which is good. But this road, London Road Depot is really unusual because it's actually really close to Elephant and Castle. But as we all know, Elephant and Castle is on the underground part of it. It's underneath the ground. It's not on the top. So this depot is on the surface. So there is actually, if we turn the picture around, if we could, um, the line passes um, into a tunnel and then it's a real sharp graded branch tunnel. So it goes down quite deep to the stations. So I like how we will have access to this London Road Depot. I hope you have access to the other depots as well. Now, I weren't, wasn't able, because I've not seen this in real life, the only way I was able to show you these images um, are these Wikipedia images, I know. Um, but it's a little dated. This image here is of 2007. But you can see there's no shard there, because it wasn't built at that time. But you can see how you've got the houses and the buildings there in the background with the trains stored up uh, during the night. And you've probably seen the videos um, as you've been practicing um, of where you come up to this point where our train was, where you stop and then get the signal to then move ahead to go down into the underground bit. Um, and also on the left, um, there is the brick building. We'll show you that. This is the outside of that building. So it looks really, really decent. You know, you've got normal houses and you've got that that kind of is sitting there. That's the entrance for the drivers to be able to access London Road Depot. So going back to the Train Symbol 2 image, there we go. I like that. I know some people have been complaining about the sky. It is quite, yeah, it's a bit shocking in terms of the brightness of it. It hurts my eyes to have a look at. Hopefully that's just uh, a bit of a issue that they've got maybe with photoshopping or some issues with the sky at the moment hopefully it'll be a lot better but yeah I've, my eyes hurt just looking at this image so i won't keep it on too long but they these are the six images that we've got so far hopefully we will get more um hopefully this week uh, we'll get some more of the bakerloo line if not we do have the sand patch grade uh, don't forget to look back at that video of the sand patch grade the q a recap um i'm thinking uh what we'll do is if there are any more uh gameplay shots i'll do that and maybe uh, next week we'll do a review of the uh, cologne lines so we'll have a look at some of their images um, of what you've got so in the cologne station and that special bridge and things like that but you know as always if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos ring that notification bell ding 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 and uh, we are on instagram facebook and twitter at megasim uk hopefully we'll see you on the next video 
uh, we will have some fun with some other trains, especially with Trains in World 1. We're on this final month now before we get Trains in World 2. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. This is Mega Sim. Have a good day. Bye.